Voila, we're back. Oh, online is called. Uh, episode 89. And uh, we had some technical difficulties getting started, but hopefully that should be on. And uh, yeah, well, something is going on. Oh, and now we have viewers too. Good. <laughs> something. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, now we're online. Uh, we have uh, a little bit of news, and then we'll jump in and, and talk with um, Louis from Cap Gemini. Yep, I can't even say the name, Cap Gemini. Um, and uh, but yeah, just the first one. So the news this week is that we have two eight three out, just bug fixes, I think. Nothing, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. And then uh, two nines coming this week. It's there, the core is there, but the platform is coming and then should be released later this week. Uh, I guess we will talk a bit more about it next week, next, next Monday. Um, but uh, beyond that, we also have. Um, what's it called? Uh, J Nation that was announced, um, which is a conference uh, that is picking up at Quarkus Day. Can you share mm -hmm. the screen, uh, Georges? Maybe you can. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, J Nation, like uh, a lot of folks have probably heard of, is a, a pretty well known uh, Java conference. Uh, obviously, didn't take place. Uh, the last couple of years, but it's uh, in person this year. So June 7th uh, is the regular conference day. But um, we also have uh, the Quarkus World Tour making a stop at the at J Nation. Uh, so we'll have a bunch of uh, Quarkus talks from uh, folks from the Quarkus team and from the uh, Quarkus community. Uh, so that'll be awesome for if uh, folks can make it to the conference. Uh, we'd love to see you there. Awesome, yeah, and yeah, it's a, yeah, the Quarkus on conference I miss every time, but yes, it's on, at the yes. bottom of that page. Yes, there's also Quarkus on conference the previous day, so yeah. if you're there, um, be sure to 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 reach out to us and chat. Yeah, and though, and uh, for those who uh, want to like the on conference is intended to be anyone who's using Quarkus, so it's not just the like, for people uh, being there and talking, it's also for anyone to for the community to be there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh there you go. Cool. Oh, Luz, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> More technical difficulty. Okay. <laughs> ready. Um, uh, yeah, Spain. Are you, are you coming to the nation? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if you knew. Are you planning to go to J Nation, Louis? Yes. Uh, well, I, I I can present myself if you want uh, about uh, yes. Uh, my I work at Cap Gemini uh, since uh, for, for 15 years. Uh, I work as a, a software engineer, and uh, we are working with Spring Boot and, and Quarkus. Uh, during the the last two years, we we work with with Quarkus. We started with the version 1.9, I think, two years ago. And okay. nowadays, uh, currently, we are we are working with with the last well, not the last version. We, we work with 2.6. And probably, I hope in the in the future we we can uh, work with with Quarkus three. I I hope. Well, Quarkus is still still a way out, but yeah, <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> so, you, so you guys, you said that you were using Spring before, and then decided to go to Quarkus. Yes, we 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 use Spring Boot and, and Quarkus, uh, but. In the last two years, we we tried to to work with Quarkus uh, to to see the we, the start, we, we we like the startup times, we like the memory savings, so it's it's true that we are working with with both of uh, both of of the technology Spring and, and Quarkus they are pretty pretty similar, so well, almost, it's it's pretty similar. So uh, but we we work with both technologies. Okay, and are you using just Quarkus in JVM mode, or is it native, or what? what how far? Uh, we started with with Quarkus in in DBA mode uh, because I think that uh, when you start with DBA mode, it's it's uh, 
better if you don't know the technology. Uh, I prefer uh, going step by step because it's uh, well the, the GB mode and and the and the spring boot what could be mode and spring boot is pretty similar. But now currently we are working with with native mode with RAM with RVM and we don't use GBM for anything. So the, during the last two years, uh, we, we passed from the GBM mode to the um, RAL VM. And I, re I recommend uh, to use uh, RAL VM because obviously uh, the startup times are, are better, the performance is, are, is better, the memory saving is, is good too. So mm -hmm. now, uh, currently we are working with, with native mode, with RAL VM, but uh, it's true that at the beginning we started with GVM mode because we don't know anything about gray we don't know if we didn't know anything about native mode and we always step by step in in this case okay um sorry okay i i wanted to know if you are using as you come from a spring world if you are using the spring extensions from Quarkus? We started with, with Spring extensions, but, but currently we are not using Spring extensions. We use the JAX specification and we only have to know, well, for instance, if you use uh, auto-wired with Spring, you have to use Inject on Quarkus. If you use a service annotation, you, you have to use application scope or singleton or you use value of this property. So at the beginning, uh, it's true that we use uh, Spring extensions because we were, we, we were more comfortable with, with those extensions. But nowadays, currently, we are working with uh, the access specification. And we prefer well, uh, use uh, inject or use uh, object property. So we, mm, we, we don't use any, any Spring, spring extension. We don't use Spring Data GPA, we use uh, Hibernate or Panache. Okay, yes, um, that's a... Yes, because Spring Data GPA, it's uh, widely used. So we even not pass by the Spring Data GPA extension from Quarkus or just... Um, we we uh, we started to use Spring Data JPA at the beginning, okay. uh, mm -hmm. but then uh, we changed to Hibernate uh, Panache. It's pretty similar. Uh, the uh, it's, it works with native, of course. Uh, we don't have any problem to to make the queries or make the criteria with Hibernate Panache, so we don't have any problem with that. So it's true that at the beginning we tried with the Spring Data GPA because we 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 come from the Spring world and it's more comfortable. But nowadays uh, we try to to go to the Red Panache and the extension of Quarkus, uh, Open API, okay. I don't know, uh, Prometheus, uh, even Red Panache, risk, risk Client, all the extension that we are working in are with uh, with Quarkus world. Cool. And just before I go, just for those who are listening in, if you have any questions about to um, uh, Louis about why and how they use Quarkus, and you know, please put them in chat, and then we will ask about about them. Um, so what? One thing I've you said that you were you're using Spring, and now you use, you went to Quarkus and all the way to native because of memory and stuff. So you are you are you, what it kind of. My, I guess you're running microservices like short-lived ones, or is it like long-running ones. So what's the the setup you have? Uh, the, set, the setup that we have in native mode, we have the um, well, we we use GraalVM. Uh, we 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 have the GraalVM in in our pipelines. Uh, yeah. I think I think the version is one uh, or something like that. Uh, we started with with DBN, as I said before, and and. And now uh, we use the, the Graal VM in, in our pipelines. We don't use GVM for anything, only for compiling uh, in our environment. So we, sure. as we work, is uh, we use GVM to compile our uh, source code because it's faster, obviously. 
but then uh, if we have any problem, we use Black VM to, to, to compile if we have to, to change well, it. Just, are they long running ones? Like, are they like an hour or 10 minutes or a day or forever or what's the... Uh, so do you want to, to, say, to say what the, the process... Well, I I'm asking because normally what we tell people is that for Graal VM you choose that if you need high density and uh, have short-lived process. And short-lived can is subjective, right? Could be 10 minutes, could be an hour, but generally once you start doing long running stuff, uh, you have and you have high, you're looking for high throughput, uh, you would do JVM mode because it can do the JIT compliant while it runs and it over time it gets better. Um, as it is now, so I'm just wondering, what you got? Are you short-lived or long-lived? We are, we are, we are working with long-lived because we have a, a, well, we, we have a, a, a process that is short-lived that is run and, and and process all the requests in in a, in a few minutes, but we have a, a, a short life and we use RDM for all our process. We we don't use a, a GDM for anything. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, just at the beginning, but not, not, not now. We are we are using RDM for all our our process, our, all our services, long and, and okay. And so, do you know do you know if that so that you do that because you can get more of them, or just because one is taking up less space and that's better for your the way you guys are set up? Uh, well, uh, I I I don't know. Uh, well, Probably uh, when we use when we, we uh, decide to use uh, this mode, I suppose that uh, uh, we, we prefer to use in, in, in native mode. And, and yes, uh, I think that we have the, the the knowledge to to use it, and we don't have any problem. And I okay. suppose that it's it's a good choice. So, have you run into any problems uh, using native? Uh, yes, uh, some a bit problems when we use native. We have to uh, well, uh, when you use uh, classes, uh, new classes, uh, probably you have to uh, register the classes uh, uh, with uh, the register from reflection annotation. Or if you use a third-party extension, you find a good class not found exception. So. <laughs> this is a bit weird. So you have a, a, an, an, a tutorial and a guide in your, in your Quarkus documentation about how to write uh, or tips to write native applications that you have to put in the reflection config or in the resource config, uh, the, fi the files that you need to discover when you are, uh, will deploy the, the, the code. And yes, uh, we have problems because uh, the, if the class is uh, new for you, you have to annotate annotate with 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 an annotation. Not, don't worry. But if you if you need third party extension, you have to look for these classes, uh, which classes uses other classes. So well, probably we have some big a big problems in there. But well, uh, you only have to to re register the, the classes for for the for the LVM. Because they, in the end, try to uh, remove those classes, and you have to annotate that hey, don't, don't remove those classes because I need. So this is the only problem that that we had in the in the past. Okay. Okay. And, and you don't. Yeah. I guess what you're saying is that you don't. It's not a big problem because as soon as you run native mode, it will complain to you that it's missing. Uh, it's, it's not a big. No, it's not a big problem. But when you Want to deploy in your pipelines? Probably you you find a class not found step and you say, oh, with GDM mode, uh, this problem doesn't yeah. exist. But uh, well, I prefer GraalVM because our microservices start now in 15 milliseconds, I think, 16 milliseconds. So in comparison with Spring Boot, that we have a services that started with in I don't know 50 seconds, 60 seconds. So I think that it's a good uh, point. Oh, you went from, did you, you said 50 or 15? 50, sec 50 seconds in Spring Boot, 15 milliseconds with Quarkus. So for, for a comparable in... application? Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, 
I, I'll buy that. That's good. <laughs> and, 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 at the memory, more or less the same. Uh, we have 500 megas in microservices with Spring Boot, 50 uh, with Quarkus. So if you have 10 microservices, you can save five gigas. Okay. Nice. And that, and that, that holds when you run for a longer time? Is that, it should, but I've seen where they, because they might be might be a bit, let's say, sloppy in code, then you the Graal VM has a harder time recovering memory. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I, I probably don't have all the data that you that you ask for, asking now. Uh, sure. in, in comparison, when, when we, are, we started the microservices, the, the memory probably, of course, if you are using the, um, uh, the microservices in a, in a long way, probably the memory yeah. could, could be higher. But uh, in a snapshot, in, a, in one time, we have uh, 500 uh, megas versus uh, 50 megas and the, the memory saving and the startup times 50, 60 seconds from to versus uh, 15, 16, 9, 19 milliseconds. So this is the, the we, we are using RALVM for that. We, when, we, when we use GVM in the past, uh, our microservices uh, start in, started about uh, or around two or three seconds. But it's good, yeah. very good. But with native mode, we can run in 15, 16, 17 milliseconds. So I think that you very nice. can yeah. use uh, auto scaling. So there are a lot of things that you can do with, with that. OK. Hello. Are you... Where... Oh, good. Sorry. <laughs> where, where are you deploying this microservice, please? We... In a Kubernetes cluster, vanilla yes. Kubernetes, or? Yes. We... We are we are we are using Google Cloud to, to deploy that, the, that microservices into Kubernetes. We did a, a proof of concept with Knative with OpenShift, and well, the, the, the performance was fine too. It was the same. Uh, we we can run the, the it's, it's, it's a serverless uh, a serverless environment. So we, we, we did a, a, a proof of concept with Knative and we don't have any problem. So the, the microservice uh, runs in milliseconds too. So it's a, good, it's a good performance. But it's good. It's interesting it's, it's because you basically, use, I've always, when I go out and present about Quarkus, I always feel like, because we, we've done our own measurements and we have, we have similar numbers of saying, well, nine to 10 X, fast well at least a double as fast in jvm mode even faster and then native mode is is 10x for the setup and you basically are saying that you got for jvm mode um half no from 10 oh 50 seconds to two to three seconds that's pretty good and then even further down with native mode so yeah that's uh that's good to hear and that's for like a real app and currently, we can auto scale our microservices. We have a horizontal port auto scaling that before we can do with, with the Spring Boot. Currently, we can we can uh, auto scale the, the microservices in milliseconds, so we can go from one replica to fifteen replicas in in that, in that case. So. Okay, so. Um, do you have any, like, I think you wrote in the notes here, you want to talk about something like how you guys worked or how you do the work on Quarkus or write extensions? Yes, uh, we have to, to create some extension uh, the, for logging, one of them for logging, because we want to, 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 uh, or we want to, 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 to have the same structure for Quarkus than Spring Boot, the same as logging structure. Uh, so, uh, well, uh, we uh, use, uh, we, we create an extension, we, we follow your guide about uh, how to create a native extension, and we create another extension to add some methods to uh, REST client. Uh, the, the, the extension that you, you have, we have to add some methods for our purposes. Uh, we create an extension uh, for that. And... So what, what did you, so, sorry, I thought, what did the extension do? The, do the, the, the extension does the same, 
but we have to create a, one or two methods for our purposes that, that we need on, on the project. Mm. But the, the REST client do this, does, the, does the same, do, it's, it's, it's the same, but we have to create a, methods for the REST client um, extension. And we name uh, the or in, by with other name. Okay, so I'm just trying to follow what. You, so you yeah, we have, we have, uh, we have. Uh, Imagine you have, we have, for instance, security with the microservices with security with the JSON web token. So we need to add some methods to 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 handle this the security to the REST client extension. Ah, model. okay. So in your cap gaming microservice architecture there's some kind of negotiation yes. that the client has to do and that specific specific cam gaming i see you extended that by adding an extension okay now i got it because it was very <laughs> yes right. it's angry but but we have to add some methods for for our purpose because we need to to add uh, for my, my, uh, to, to handle or to, to manage the the json web token for the microservices and the login is pretty the same we have to create an extension to maintain the same loss that we we need with with to, to use with, that we have with the Spring Boot. Okay. And we don't have any problems. We you, we follow the the guide that you have in in your part of documentation about your uh, how to create an, an native extension. It's a, a a good a good page a good documentation very large. And we 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 can follow the steps. Uh, we don't have any problem with the, with the testing, with the everything, is, it was fine. So we, we don't have any problem with this part. Well, the, the, right, uh, right. I should say that the, yeah, the part of the documentation is it's pretty dense. It's pretty pretty hard to read. But Yes, at, at, the, beginning it was, it, it, at the beginning it was hard because we have to read some uh, twice or m more than twice. Yeah. But then uh, probably once once you have the just the study the, the documentation you don't have any problem to to create extension uh, and you can you can uh, see if it have other extension and you it's, it's pretty easy so we don't have any problem in that part. Okay, okay. Uh, but can you say something bad because <laughs> <laughs> it's all, all perfect speed perfect memory. Nothing hard about writing a native extensions. Well, just, anything you're missing? <laughs> yes, uh, something bad would be uh, well when you work with Google LVM. Uh, probably the problem that you have with Gral with Google LVM that uh, I said before, you have to register your classes. You have to register the other classes. So it could yeah. be hard. It could be hard. If, if you create a new class, a new class for you, it's it's easy because you need to to put your annotation. It's it's pretty easy. But if you need to use classes from the DBM or classes from other extension, you have to register, and it could be a bit difficult uh, to 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 put the, those classes in 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 the field. Yeah. Another problem that we have uh, is uh, well, you have to choose between Jackson or JSON B to deserialize your objects. And we have a problem because we use JSON B and Jackson <laughs> in, the, in the same project. So uh, okay. we have JSON B in an extension. We have Jackson in the in the project on the microservices. We didn't realize. So uh, we we saw uh, where things uh, it doesn't work fine. So we have to we have to realize that we are using a JSON B extension in the extent in the in the extension. So we have to remove that. Because if you use Jackson and JSON, JSON B, we have some problems. Oh, uh, so you, 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 did, you didn't explicitly include it. It got included implicitly, and then you... We, we implicitly included, but we didn't realize that we are we were mm. including the, the extension. So we, after oh. that, we use Jackson in the microservices. And I like Jackson because we have... Uh, we, we have uh, yeah, Jackson is a, I'll recommend it too. So yeah. Yes, the configuration is, is better, it's easier. So we have some problems, and the other problem is that the team probably wants to use other extension like JSON by Google. So you said you, you have to say uh, wait, you, we have to use native extension, we have to search, so we have to look for the extension that we need. Uh, so 
Well, the problem is when you use native mode, you can't use the extension that you want or you can't find on Google. So you want to uh, look for native extensions. So what was the extension you found that did not do native? That you you needed? Uh, probably, well, G G song by Google. Uh, ah, Gsong. Okay. In, in, ah, in, okay. in, in the past, uh, we have problems with that. Uh, nowadays, I can currently, it, I, I think that uh, in uh, Apache Camel could be the, the a, a native extension, but in the past we have problems with, with that, so we have to use Jackson or JSON B, but. Yeah. Uh, currently, I, I know it, but in the past, I didn't know. So you know, try to use uh, extensions that are not native and everything mm. crash. Yeah. No, it's one of those because we majority of extensions are native and we do push for it. Um, but yeah, it comes up more and often like because we could we could actually tell you like we like because the we the extension could say hey this doesn't work in native um but we just haven't found a good way to report it <laughs> so to speak <laughs> um but yeah but uh but the best of all will be that all extensions just support native then there's no problem <laughs> no one has to do anything um but i the thing about you said about native uh adding reflection i think it's interesting because it's other people who are using Graal VM tend to say, hey, let's just register everything so the user don't have to deal with register ref reflection. Um, and uh, there's a lot of people who think that's the best because then you don't have that problem. But we are in Quarkus are just the opposite of saying, nah. And the reason why we say, no, you have to go through that pain is what you said 10 minutes earlier. I got a 50, uh, oh, not 50, 10, ten, ten, times. Time, ten times faster uh, startup and memory. Um, mm. And if we've taken the other perspective saying, yes, let's register, then we wouldn't, you would not have that. And um, I, so that's, that's uh, well, I'm, I'm saying it because one of the conversations I had the last couple of weeks with people saying, no, 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 we should make it easy, as easy for the user to write native apps. I register everything, and you are a shining example of why we don't think that should be the case. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that's that's a good yeah. The, the the main problem uh, when we started with Quarkus some extension, uh, it doesn't exist or didn't exist for for Galvian or native. Uh, yeah. uh, for for instance, swap requests we we can we, we couldn't make swap requests in the past because we have, we didn't have an extension for that. Nowadays, we have an extension of Apache TKS uh, in Quarky version. We have the same problem with Oracle driver in the past. Currently, mm -hmm. we have a, an Oracle driver in native mode. Uh, Print data GPA, uh, we, we found some issues uh, that it was, it, it, they were resolved. Currently, yeah. Apache uh, Hibernate Panache uh, was, uh, per, uh, works perfectly. So, uh, the problem that we have now is not the same that we have in the in the past. Uh, now nowadays, probably we we can uh, make uh, the microservices. We can develop the microservices because in our case we use REST client extensions, swap request, uh, database uh, connection. I don't know Kafka, probably uh, big data, big data. But everything we we can work with 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 that. In the past, it was. Uh, more difficult because we don't have those extensions for native mode, and so we have to use in DBA mode. But nowadays, I think that we don't have that, that, that problem. Fair enough. Yeah, now that was like, um, yeah, the day we came out with Quarkus, yeah, you have finding extension would be hard, but uh, today I think we are we're hitting critical mass. So most people should be able to run native mode with what they need, and, and there'll mm -hmm. be more. So that's good. Well, I, I, I recommend to start with DB mode if you, if you, if you yes, yeah, no, no. because uh, in our case, uh, the learning, the learning curve is, in curve is shorter. So if you start with, with native, you stay with, you start with reactive, there are a lot of things that probably can fail you. So I think that the, my recommendation is to start with DB mode. It's pretty similar to Spring Boot, 
Once you have the DBM mode, you can go uh, step by step to the native mode, to reactive world. So, uh, and probably the, the startup times are uh, awesome too, are, are amazing. So, uh, if you try to start with native mode or with GraphVM, probably you, you uh, have to struggle with problems that could be, could be harder. But if you start with DBM mode, you have a, con a global context vision. So, I recommend to use GD mode at the beginning, but then in, my, in our case, nowadays we are using VM and the, the startup times are incredible because we are we have microservices that start in 15 milliseconds versus two or three seconds that we have in DVM mode. So, so yes, yeah. uh, again. Yeah, and yes, this, I... oh, okay, go ahead, Ari. <laughs> Okay, uh, thank you, Max. Uh, yes, I, I just wanted to know more about the learning curve of developers. If uh, yes, how they how do they feel about Quarkus and how was the the learning curve? And if they if for example, I don't know if you are using the extensions to deploy in to Kubernetes. If yes, if they use um, something to test locally, uh, how about the development mode? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, our, uh, in, in our in our team, uh, well, the, the, the learning curve uh, is short. Uh, the, obviously, the part of the LVM could be uh, uh, a bit harder, but the learning curve is short because. Uh, for annotation, uh, we, we, we said, don't use auto wipe, use inject. Don't use config property, okay. value, okay. use config property. Don't use uh, service, use application scope or similar thing, it depends. And the rest of the project is Java, so we don't have any problem to, to develop with Java. We have an extension for, for REST calls, REST client. We have an extension for SOAP records, it's Apache 3 so it's the same when if you're using Spring Boot. We have an extension for Ibernate queries, that is Ibernate Panache, it's the same as Spring Data GTA, so it is it's pretty similar. The learning curve is short. Um, we use the dev mode, we compile uh, in GDM mode, because it's faster, obviously. We upload the code uh, to our pipelines, and if we have any problem with the, comp the compilation, we use the, ima the GRAL image or LVM image to, to solve the problem. 90% of the cases, you don't have to compile in LVM mode in local because you are, you are writing Java applications. Only if you have to, well, I don't know, if you have to, you, 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 you create a new class and you have to discover this class, probably you have a problem with your pipelines. In that case, we use a, an image, a Docker image or a Podman, or with Podman depends on the, on the team. And we try to solve this problem with, with our image. And once we solve the problem, we upload again to our pipelines. So okay. uh, we work in a pragmatic mode. We compile everything in DDM mode. We upload the code. If we have any problem, uh, we compile in, in, in real VM mode, we solve the problem, and then, but the, once you, if you are writing application, if you are writing services, you don't have to, to compile in real VM mode most of the times. And the part of uh, deploy to Kubernetes, we don't use the extension for that. We have a pipeline, and we use the pipeline, but we don't use the, the any extension for deploying Kubernetes or not. Okay. In the past, so we use. That, that we, we have. We didn't have. We, when we started with GBM mode, we didn't have to to adapt our pipelines uh, much more. So we the pipeline was pretty similar. With GraphVM, obviously you have to adapt something. But we, when we started with GBM mode, we don't have to to adapt anything about well, not anything, but but uh, it was pretty pretty similar the pipeline that we have with the Spring Boot and that we have with Quarkus in GBM mode. The, the artifact, the, you, you can build the artifact, you can deploy the, the service. It's a, it's a jar, so you have to run Java jar, so it doesn't, it's, it's, it's pretty similar. With native mode, you have to compile uh, something, but, well, 
I think that so, it could be easy. Um, I have a question about about the pipelines, actually. So, you said that the um you catch uh, failures, uh, Graal VM failures with your pipeline, but uh, does that mean like you have a lot of tests that actually run the the native binary? If we have any tests in the, in our you have, yeah, you have. Yeah, you have. I, I assume you have a lot of tests that actually uh, test the application uh, using the native binary in order to catch these issues, right? But but we uh, in in our case we use the, the our our test we we launch the test in our in, in our local environments, and then once we we upload the 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 source code to our pipelines, uh, in in that in that case we run the the test. Uh, but uh, it, if it fails when we have uh, we, when we build the, the image, uh, it doesn't run the, the test because uh, well the, the fail could be uh, before um, mm -hmm. the the, mm -hmm. the image. So uh, we only re run the test in in, in GVM mode in mm -hmm. our local environment. Once we we pass the test, we go to the into the pipeline, and once we the image. Uh, was built, we can uh, launch the test again in the in the pipeline uh, after the build. Gotcha, gotcha. So, so what kind of tests are these? Are these Quarkus tests or are they like some other custom framework we, or something? We, we are just in the Quarkus, the Quarkus no. testing. Cool. Yes, we, are, we are just in the Quarkus testing and we use the dev mode. So you can use your you can relaunch your failed test. You can relaunch your all your tests. You can relaunch the test that you you develop. Well, you have a lot of options to to relaunch your your test. So we don't have any problem with with that. It's very it, it, for us. It's very important the developer experience. So the continuous testing, the dev mode. We didn't or we don't use the dev UI uh, because well probably I I. I I think that I use once once uh, in in the past, but in, in our case we only uh, change our application properties or application YAML, so we don't have to use the the, the UI. I I know that it's awesome, but uh, we 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 don't use it too much uh, because we 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 try to do in the in the source code directly. Cool. Yes, so yeah. Well, the, the the cool thing is you're actually using the dev mode and the continuous testing. Yes, um, the, the dev mode is, is is something that we use every day, of course, because it's it's very important for us to to uh, the hot reloading. Uh, there are a lot of things that are uh, that are important for us. The developer experience in, in general, so we don't have to stop the server. We don't have to. Well, there are a lot of things. Uh, we 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 can relaunch the test that that fails. Uh, well, there are a lot of lot of things that that we we use with with the dev mode. Yeah, and um, yeah, I saw I can't remember it was on Twitter or somewhere else. I saw someone saying that they they tried Quarkus and they use it, but they they didn't like dev mode because they they like to write tests first, uh, and they obviously hadn't realized we have continuous testing <laughs> in there. But because um, we did it in the what was that like? 111 or something 113 i think 13 edit? yeah, probably, 13. yeah. Edit either, either 13 or 2 yeah something like yeah that. it was just before 20 we did the continuous testing there so if you use corkus before you wouldn't have you dev mode yes you would start it up and it wouldn't run your tests but you you'll be just you call it like psp mode like just edit your code and and restart and all good and uh, yeah some like oh that's not how you write software you have to write the test first so yeah so that's why we did the continuous testing which you could which is pretty awesome, uh, and it sounds like you guys are using that too. So that's mm -hmm. good. That's awesome. Okay. Um, any other like other tips or ideas you have to add, uh, you, Luis? Or pitfalls mm -hmm. or something? Yeah. Probably. Well, uh, yes. The the tips. The well, if you you have, it's important tip that you have to to use or to decide Jackson or Jason B. If, because we have problems with that. Uh, use GVM mode to compile or and grab the end to, to deploy it. In our case, it, it's for, for us it was it was fine. And if you have to start 
start with DVM because it's pretty similar to Spring Boot, so you don't have any problem for that. Uh, you don't have to adapt your uh, your uh, pipelines. So uh, and then you can uh, run with RevVM native mode or another thing, reactive 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 world as you as you want. But in my opinion, I think that the best is to start. If you want to start a project with DVM mode, and then you, you can convert to to uh, You don't have to you don't have to download your GraalVM ima image because you need to use Docker or Podman. Uh, when you you can use uh, with your with you don't need to, to have a, a GraalVM uh, uh, the Gra the Gra VM package, so it's, it's pretty good. And I don't know. I think it's, uh, if, if you have to, uh, you, you can use Jax uh, specification. You don't need you don't need to use Spring Boot uh, specification like Auto Wire. I like uh, service. You can use Jax specification, so you, you don't have any problem. And you don't need to use any extension like Spring Data GPA. You don't need to use uh, probably the Spring extension because we have in Quarkus we have some extension that that do the same. So well, this is this is our experience more. So, uh, yeah, that that's yeah. a pretty common story we hear we hear from folks that yeah they come from the Spring world they're like oh yeah okay I'll check out the Spring extensions cool they work but then we start yeah we started with the Spring extension in yeah the past. yeah exactly but then they're like you know what the, the programming model is so similar that you know I'll just uh, invest a couple of days and learn the the new way of doing things, and people are usually happier uh, staying on the new way. Yes, uh, we we started with this, this Spring extension because we are more comfortable with that. Because if you come with from Spring World, uh, Spring World, I think that it could be it could be fine. But if you uh, once uh, they they met months before, just before. Uh, uh, so I I, sub, I think that it's it's better if you if you use Jax extension if you try to to use an other kind of extension even Ipanas and everything else because I think that uh, it could be could be fine. So but if you want to use a Spring extension you can you can use it too. So this is an option that you can you can choose. So don't it doesn't matter. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, we we tend to we had the surprise. Well, basically, if you had, if you have seen the same thing. So one thing that we got from others that done the same thing of going from Spring to the Spring extensions, to then realize, oh, we can just use the Quarkus or the Jax, uh, whatever spec uh, we we doing, and then they actually ended up with less code than they started with. Uh, do, do you see the same? Or uh, and by the way, this, that was a surprise for us. That was not an intention. We. we <laughs> um, but did you see the same or it's just about the same? Yes. I'm on code. yes. Go, go ahead, Luis. Yes, uh, is, uh, we, 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 we thought within the, the same, I think that um, when you use, well, uh, probably our, our thing uh, uh, to, to they, they they try to use in this in the spring board they, they try to use annotation that that they they know but it, you you can you can uh, there are some uh, cheats that you can use uh, quarkus has a, a cheat mode that uh, you can use the extension uh, that you for instance you don't need to use uh, spring uh, annotation or spring extension, but if you use those extension, don't it, it doesn't matter. It, it could be it could be fine. And in, for for us, uh, some some other things, some other things uh, like to use a spring extension, spring web API or spring web or spring, and it's it's a it's a it's a choice that you can you can choose. So. Yeah, that, that was the good thing. I mean, when we started uh, with Quarkus, like, oh, we looked at a lot of the APIs from the beginning. So, uh, yeah, we benefited from all this past experience. So, yeah, we, we were able to make a lot of things simpler than, um, than what the, the current state of the art was before Quarkus. Uh, well, we, we, we don't want to, 
two years so much extension in our in our services because uh, we try to use only the extension that we need. Mm -hmm. If we can use uh, extension that Quarkus has or annotation that Quarkus has for us, it's better to use to create an, or to add a new extension in your POM or in your gravel. So we try to use uh, the, the less extension that the, that we we can. We use only well, I don't know, REST client, Apache Swap, Fixer, Prometheus, Prometrics, uh, Mapstruth. But we try to use uh, the less extension that, that we can because probably the startup times could be better if you use less extension. Uh, if you use, I don't know, 20 or 30 extension, probably you, your startup times could be, could be worse. So um, we try to use, uh, as, as I said before, the less extension that, that we can. Well, yeah, and it sounds like you have a good balance with the 10x speed performance, so that's good. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, Louis. Uh, any, any uh, anything else? What we got through most? Well, and I know I think that I, I we, we talked about the problems. Well, the problems in well, not so much problems, but we have some problems, obviously. Uh, but uh, we have talked about the tips. Uh, our motivation was the startup times and the memory saving. Obviously, the the relation, the, the, the developer experience, the hot reloading, the continuous testing, but not as deficit factors as startup times and memory saving. Uh, yeah. When we imagine that it will, we have microservices with Spring Boot that is, is, uh, their startup times are in 50, 60 seconds, 40 seconds. And probably we have microservices that starts in 15 milliseconds, 16 milliseconds. We can uh, auto scale the, the microservices. We can uh, use the horizontal pod auto scaling. We can consume or we can get more requests because previously we, we, we have to to, to, to have one or two replicas, but nowadays we, ha we can have one replica to 15 replicas. So we, we can uh, auto scale them the, the work services uh, in milliseconds. So you can, well, you can get more requests. In our case, for instance, we have some macro services that, cons that, that consume uh, a lot of re million of requests in minutes, and we can do it because we can have to scale uh, the microservices with Quarkus. So, you get one the freedom. Of the, yes. One, one of the, the most important things was, was uh, the startup times, and we, we did in the past a uh, um, proof of concept. Uh, we said that oh, it, this sounds good. This sounds good. Um, um, it was fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. And so the one, one you said dev, developer experience was also a good thing. But, but what we know, yeah. <laughs> George, I already had to go to a meeting. I think the same one. Um, but um, we generally see the thing that the people they come from the they come from they come for the performance um, improvements in Quarkus, but they stay for the developer experience. Um, Yes, uh, for us the developer experience is, is very important, but but mm, not as deficit as we 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 we, we told you before uh, about the startup times and the performance and the memory. Yeah, sure, it's very important too, of course, because we 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 have to we have the continuous testing. We don't have to stop the server. We can uh, develop uh, only with change the classes, the name of the classes, the application properties, the code that, that we need. It's very important. Probably when you do or we make up a proof of concept, you want to say, oh, this is 50 seconds versus 15 milliseconds. So I think that it's amazing. It's awesome. And the developer experience obviously is very important too. But I think that is in our case is not as a deficit, deficit factor to use to sure. use Quarkus. But probably there are a lot of people that use because probably they, there are a lot of people that that those microservices in Spring Boot and start this within seconds or something like that. So I think that they the developer experience is very important for, for them. Yeah. And for right. us too, of course. 
And did did, did you ever figure out why the fifty why it took fifty seconds? Uh, uh, yes, we, probably there are some problems to that we can solve them, but well, there could be in another podcast. <laughs> I, yeah. I will talk about. <laughs> we talk sure. about about that, but but yes, probably. But but if not, in fact, in this fifty seconds, probably twenty other microservices or other companies. I should, I'm pretty sure that the microservices could run, uh, start up in 10, 20 milliseconds, 20, sorry, 10, 20 seconds. Quarkus yeah. starts in 15 milliseconds in our case, and we have to introduce an environment of those microservices, and they can run, and they yeah. can start in, in, in uh, like the, the light no, no, proof, that's the readiness proof. That's the... Uh, yeah, it's just every time I hear that, I, like, I know it's technically why, why, why it works. Um, but it's still impressive to hear that just by changing from one framework to another, you get that kind of savings. So even in both in JVM mode and native mode. So that's very cool. Okay. And we, and we, and we don't want to transfer our microservices to Python or Go because we don't know anything about that. So we yeah. want to continue to working with Java. So Quarkus uh, let us to, to, to work with, with Java because I, I know that other technology could 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 uh, run faster, but we, we don't want to, to change the technology because we don't know anything about yeah. Go, Python, or anything else. But we, we, and, and you don't need we, to. <laughs> <laughs> we know about Java. Awesome. OK. Well, did we get through all? Because our time is yes. up, I think. So. Uh, Thank you, Louis. We got through it. Thank you. All. The technical challenges. Thank you and, uh, for inviting me. Thank you. No problem. And uh, yeah, so, and uh, we'll be back next week. So thank you all. And, uh, thank you. See you next week. Thank you, Max. Bye. Bye.